So to control mites, what you need to do is understand that all of these different tools in your toolkit or weapons in your arsenal lie on this spectrum that ranges from being the ostrich that buries your head in the sand all the way up to using these synthetic pesticides that have been created specifically to kill varroa mites, but not to kill honeybees. And so as a beekeeper, you need to decide where you might want to draw a line in the sand. Do you want to use every weapon that's available? Or do you want to say, I'm not going to use any of these chemicals. I'm instead going to focus on bees that are resistant to varroa mites, maybe using something like drone comb trapping to knock the mite population down. Or are you going to be comfortable using some of these chemicals, using things that are derived from nature, something like essential oil-based products or organic acid products? And when you use those more naturally derived compounds, you can still avoid the synthetic pesticides, but find yourself in a strong position to control your varroa mites. It is important to understand that when we say that a product is based on organic acids, that isn't the same as buying organic bananas at the grocery store. Organic acids in this case actually just refer to molecules that include carbon atoms. But all of the organic acid miticides that are registered for use in hives are themselves natural molecules. They're molecules that would probably be found inside of your beehive, things that might come in in the nectar that the bees are collecting, or even be synthesized in the bees' bodies. So by using these chemicals and the essential oil-based compounds that are used in some of the other miticides, we're able to produce effective mite control tools that use naturally derived materials. Now, it is important to make a distinction between naturally derived chemicals that are formulated into a miticide, like this apolite var, and material that you just pull out of nature, like something you harvest from your herb garden. Apolite var has within it thymol, derived from the herb thyme, eucalyptus oil, and menthol, which comes from the mint plant. It also has camphor, which is another plant-derived ingredient. All of these different ingredients can be found in these plants out in your herb garden, but it's important to understand that you shouldn't be taking thyme leaves and rubbing them on your bees to try to kill their mites. We need to make sure that we're using the formulated products that have purified versions of these chemicals and don't have any other chemicals that could actually be harmful to the bees. So these are products that are all built on these naturally derived ingredients, but they are not directly taken from nature. They still need to be formulated by professionals in order to make sure that they kill mites and don't kill bees. In mite control, we need to remember that we need to build everything off of our mite control pyramid or our integrated pest management pyramid. We have to make sure that we start with a base of bees that are as resistant to mites as possible, and then we include maybe mechanical disruption of those mites using something like drone comb trapping. These are the foundational, cheapest, and least chemically intensive or environmentally harmful ways that we can start to control our varroa mites. But most beekeepers find that that's not enough. We still need to reach for chemicals. But the chemicals can be divided into hard and soft chemicals. The hard chemicals would be the synthetic miticides whereas the soft chemicals would be things like organic acids or essential oil-derived materials. Those miticides are going to allow you to control your mites without having to reach for the big guns, the synthetic pesticides, until the mite levels warrant that, that uh, additional step. 